All right, so the learning goal for this lesson is drawing diagrams with bearings. So dealing with things like north 30 degrees east, south 20 degrees east, or north 70 degrees west. Uh, now, it, this is the second time I filmed this video. Uh, I got halfway through the first one and realized there's a lot more to this uh, than you may first expect. Now, looking at this, uh, we've got a bearing from person A to person B of north 30 degrees east. Now, when you do these things, don't be scared to make a mistake here. Uh, have a pencil, have an eraser, have a go at it. If it doesn't work the first time, go again. Now, let's take a look. Person A, I'm just going to put him in the middle of my page so it makes it nice and easy. I can go in any direction there. From A to B, now be careful which direction this is. It's from A to B. Now the uh, first thing you need to do is draw a compass rose in here. Do that for every single person, every single starting point. Uh, north 30 degrees east. Start at north and move 30 degrees east. Try to make your line straight. Now that angle in there, north 30 degrees east, that's going to be a 30 degree angle. And there's point B. Now while we're there, we can also see that there's another angle that you might find useful. It's this angle here. Now north and east between those two things is 90 degrees. So if that's 30 degrees, this must be 60 degrees. Now from point B, again, at each person, make sure you draw in a compass rose. That makes it really easy to see where all the angles are. From B to C, you go south 20 degrees east. Now south 20 degrees east. Now person C exists somewhere along that line. We can see that that angle there, that was south 20 degrees east, so that's a 20 degree angle. And using the same rules that we used before with complementary angles, that's going to be 70 degrees. Now, person C exists somewhere along there, but this third piece of information will tell us where. Now, the bearing from C to A is north 70 degrees west. I'm just going to draw that up here so you can see what it looks like. North 70 degrees west. So, north and then go 70 degrees to the west. Okay, so it looks something like that. So we bring that down here, we can see from a point, from C to A, it's going to be an angle with that uh, gradient. So it looks like it's going to be here. There's person C. Now at person C, I'm going to draw in my compass rows. Now remember that was north 70 degrees west. So that means the angle, and be careful here, I might use a different colour. The angle from north to there is 70 degrees. Now, we can do a lot more here than you might first realise. If we look at this, there's our north line, there's another north line, there's another north line. All of those lines are parallel. Now also, east line, an east line, and an east line, all of those lines are parallel. Now we can use things like the Z rule, the F rule, and maybe the U rule that you might have learnt in year 10 geometry to come up with a whole bunch of different stuff here. Now for instance, an example, we've got a south line here, and a line here. Now these lines are parallel. So if those lines are parallel and they've got a transversal going through them, that is a line going through them, it means that this angle here is going to be equal to this angle here. Uh, that's called the Z rule. If you turn that around, you'll see that it makes a Z. Now, similarly, uh, we can go through a whole bunch of these and do very, very similar things with them. Uh, it takes a little bit of thinking about uh, let's see what other ones we can do. Now we can see that this one is 70 degrees from north to that line. Now these lines are parallel. That line is parallel with that line, which means that this is also going to be 70 degrees. 
Now, if you know that that is 70 degrees, and that's south and that's east, that means that this is going, to be, is going to add up to 90 degrees. So we could put in a 20 degree angle there. Which, in terms of triangles, means that this entire angle for this triangle is 80 degrees. Now, there is a whole bunch of stuff you can do here. You can see that there's another Z rule popping up. Here's a north line here, 30 degrees. Here's a south line there. If that's 30 degrees, it also means that that's 30 degrees, which means that this entire angle for our triangle is 50 degrees. Now, we can use similar reasoning to find this one. Or, we can see that that's 70, we can see that that's 20, so that means that this must be 50 degrees. A lot going on there in terms of angles. Um, make sure